What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Path of the Network Marketer. It is day 49, episode 49. Amazing, amazing. We are so close to the halfway mark of this 100-day journey. Um, So yeah, exciting times. I know in the last couple of episodes, the last couple of days, I've kind of dumped on you guys my perspective um, and, you know, on mindsets, culture, um, you know, kind of like the less, less tangible, less strategy, you know, kind of things, right? Um, which yeah, I guess, you know, you can, you can maybe categorize as the art side of, of what we do. I mean, there's definitely like, there's, there's the science side of network marketing, but there's definitely a, an art side. That's the human side. That's the, um, that's, the, that's the kind of, you know, everything is more of a gray area and more fluid and more mo- moving as opposed to the science side where, you know, yeah, you have, your, you have your, your strategy, you have, you know, your execution of that strategy, and then, you know, you have empirical data. It's very kind of hard line and more concrete. Um, so, you know, I like, I appreciate you guys going, uh, well, listening to all of those, because I mean, I think it's still, it's always going to be an important conversation because we are a people business. Um, and at least right now we still are a people business. Right. Uh, and, and so, you know, for me, it's a big part of, 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 uh, what we do. And, and I, I have, you know, the years of, of perspective to share with you guys that the things that have, that I've observed, um, um, and the things that, that have worked best for me, again, there's, it's not necessarily my way is the only right way, but, um, it's, it's worked, worked out pretty well for me thus far. Um, however, I know, again, like I feel like I've, I've kind of driven some of those points into the ground. So I want to shift gears today and get back to the marketing side and, and really kind of keep, um, well, yeah, just kind of update you, catch you guys up on what I've been working on. Um, I've mentioned already that uh, that I ha- have put um, a guide together on how to start par- podcasting. And I'm going to tell you more about that tomorrow when we actually that when that goes live, right? When, when you can get your hands on that, uh, on that particular tutorial. Um, but, uh, you know, like I, I've, those are kind of the things where, where I'm headed towards, right? Uh, you know, I started this journey back in February. I mean, that's what, eight months ago. Uh, and, and with the intention of looking at the internet, especially like social media, internet marketing, um, and how that can, um, supplement and continue to expand my business. And, and really for me, I've, I've leaned, well, I, I, initially looked heavily at social media, right? And, and I did YouTube as kind of a secondary because I was already super comfortable with YouTube, but social media and content creation for social media, I, I didn't, well, I just didn't understand, right? Like, again, I was more of a social media consumer as opposed to a content creator. Um, you know, like I was posting like 99%, 99.99% of the population is just like, here's what I'm doing right now. Um, and so to be, to, to be more intentional and purposeful with my, my social media, um, was a real, real shift for me. Um, however, it's like with everything that I was doing, okay. So, you know, there was the TikTok, um, the Instagram, the fa- the Facebook reels once a day minimum for those. Um, and then there was a once a day YouTube. Uh, obviously I was on a YouTube journey. That's what led me to the hundred day journey, which I never really finished out. It kind of petered out, um, late summer. And, and now as part of this podcast, I'm releasing a new video every day, the video version of this podcast. So, you know, it's kind of back up and running, but in terms of like the sheer amount of content and then, and then not even considering, not even considering guys, the marketing of that content. Um, we haven't even had conversations about that yet. Cause I'm still actually really learning that side of it. Um, it's been, it's been pretty, pretty overwhelming for me, right? Like to juggle that amount of content. And then on top of that, have, um, you know, have the, the size business that I have with network marketing. And then on top of that, of course, you know, I have a, you know, 20, almost 24 acre property that I have to tend to and maintain <laughs> um, uh, myself, right? Like, uh, you know, I'm trying to grow, uh, well, I'm trying to start my own, uh, my own small vineyard up here and, and my own small peach, peach grove um, and things like that, right? So there's like those personal, personal things. And then of course, on top of that, like family um, and, and, you know, giving time to to different things um you know as you know seeing my parents like i like to see them every once in a while and if, you know anyways the, the, the point is it's so much to juggle and 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 I, I i rattle off all those things to you guys because i know that all of you have a million things that you that you have on your plate right um you know if you're in network marketing chances are most network marketers will will have their full-time job or their full-time career, their full-time source of income um, while they're building their network marketing on the side. And whatever that full-time um, situation is, that career, it's going to take up you know, the, the majority of your time every day. And so to, to, to then add to that 
family life. You add to that, um, you know, your network marketing business. And then add to that, you know, online marketing and social media marketing. It's just a lot to handle. If especially you're looking at all those different platforms, all those different strategies um, and, and doing all that all at once. Right. So so my suggestion, my, the really what I'm getting to in this video is just like there's a lot out there and it, you can easily you can easily well yeah you, your focus and and your efforts can get can get spread way too thin right can get spread way too thin and 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 really what ends up happening is that it kind of slows down your results um, because you've got your hand in so many different baskets right um my suggestion would be if if there's something that resonates with you from a from a um, online strategy right whether it's social media um, whether it's YouTube, whether it's, you know, podcasting, whether it's blogging, whatever that might be, right? Funnels. I haven't even touched on funnels on the show yet. Um, whatever it might be, ho- really hone in on focus on one and execute that to the best of your ability and, and really, really, really get it off its ground and, and stick with that consistently long enough. Because because trying to do everything at once, like, like I said, it, it's going to spread you too thin. And so for me, w- this whole entire you know eight month journey so far has I've kind of honed in on and, and landed on podcasting because um, it's it's something I'm super familiar with. So is YouTube. I've been YouTubing for you know more than a decade. I think almost fifteen years now. Um, so those are platforms I'm comfortable with. Well, comfortable maybe isn't the right word. I'm proficient in in those two platforms and and creatively it it's it allows me to to put out content with with the most ease. Now I am I mean don't get me wrong it's still work and I am still pushing myself um, and, and to learning uh, other aspects, especially on the marketing side of really getting getting uh, getting myself out on these platforms and growing my my audience there. Uh, but like. The other platforms, like the social media platforms and the short form content, it's just it's just not my thing, man. I, I I like to have conversations. I like to go. I mean, you saw yesterday's yesterday's episode went you know more than fifteen minutes, which is not normal for the show. Um, so you know, I like I like to have that that connection. I like to have um, have these conversations and these discussions with you guys. Um, and the short form really just doesn't do it for me. Creatively, like there are some people that love it and that excel at it, but it's just not my thing. If it's your thing. Great. Great. Then again, figure that out and, and really, really go for it. But um, but just hone in on that one thing, land on that one thing that that really resonates with you. That that you you get excited about doing every day. That you're, you're that you have a certain level of proficiency with. I mean, obviously that that will that will expand and grow um, as you do more of it. But you know, to try to tackle all these things at once would be uh, well. Yeah, you're just gonna you're just gonna burn yourself out. And, and so, you know, I've really had to scale back. I still do social media and I'm going to start implementing more social media f- to support what I'm doing here on the show. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as like creating a co- content piece of unique content every day on the short forms, I've, I've kind of um, scaled back on that. I mean, I was doing three three a piece, right? Uh, for, for a little while. And that was just so much work for me. <laughs> right. And then on top of that, you know, YouTube every day on top of that, again, all the other things that I've rattled off. So um, main advice, hone in on one particular thing uh, like that, that you're really strong at that you really love and enjoy. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, because you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to sustain it if you don't, at the very least, baseline enjoy the thing that you're doing, um, and and then and then just keep executing, keep learning, keep expanding in that particular, um, on that particular platform. Um, you know, just just do it consistently for a period of time, and you'll get good at it, and you'll get proficient at it um, over time, and and you'll start to really really see results, um, and that will expand into other things as far as like your marketing and things like that. So for me, again, it, the picture is podcasting i'm really i've really i mean i've all i was already fall i had already i was already in love with podcasting when i when i started this particular show but i'm really falling in love with it even more and i'm learning a lot of stuff so tune in tomorrow we're celebrating our 50th um the the uh the the how to podcast tutorial <laughs> a guide by ronnie cruz um is getting launched it will go live tomorrow um so lots of lots of other stuff that i'm going to share with you guys tomorrow so do not miss it until then be well be safe And I'll see you in the next episode.